the science guy. Bill Nye the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the science guy. Science rules. Okay, actually, it's just Dan. All right. Hi, guys. We're going to start, or I want to attempt to do uh, the same thing I did in writing with the paint tutorial, but I'm going to try to do it on video now that I have the software. Now, you're going to have to deal with a few problems here and there, probably, as we go through it. Like right now, the audio, I have a hiss that I'm still trying to get rid of. Um, little Some video issues, I'm using Cam Studio. Um, it's free. You can download it. It's for doing tutorials like this. Um, so I'm, I don't want to waste any more time. I've been tweaking it the last couple of days and I'm, I still have some stuff to read on the online and troubleshoot and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, getting started, whether you read my tutorial or you're now viewing this for the first time, if you look down in the attachments below you, um, yeah, a little further below down at the, yeah, the bottom of my post, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Go ahead and download that. And I have that right here. It's stake.zip. Go ahead and extract that. And go ahead and open that up and you'll see a PSD and open that up. And now whether you're using Photoshop, um, GIMP, which is a freeware out there, or PaintShop Pro, or basically any application that you use, you are going to be using something that works with layers. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, some things you're going to want to do on your own time, and that's get familiar with it if you haven't already. Um, you have the tool panel over here. You have the most important thing for us is the layers panel and you have your image in the center of the screen. You have your work area. Um, I'm going to cover a lot of the stuff as we go. This particular thing is just an intro to let you guys see what we're going to be covering. Um, a, a chance to, between this one and the next one, you know, some things to consider and get into your existing paint kit of choice and dive right in and at least get things neatened up and start to explore and that's what we're going to be talking about here. Um, there's something I want to go over real quick and that is if you're a Mac user you're used to your computer. You know that if I were to say control this uh, then it would be command that for you. If I were to say alt then it would be option for you and if I were to say right click it would be option click for you. If you don't know that, then there it is. That's this has nothing to do with a Macintosh or a PC, you know, um, favoring. This just has to do with the fact that I'm sure you agree that that is one thing that is overemphasized in every tutorial ever. Um, people like to hear themselves say that, so that will be the only time I say that in the hours of tutorials I had to cover this paint. So. Um, that being said, let's move on. I'm going to be covering keyboard shortcuts constantly. And down the road, I might not be saying press V for the movement tool. These things should come naturally to you. And I'm going to try to leave them out so it pushes you to think. Um, I don't like people that do tutorials real fast. I don't like people that don't cover things for the beginner. Uh, people make tutorials and they, they do them to make themselves look ultra smart and make you look dumb and then you post questions and they don't answer them well screw them people I can't stand that it's a it's an ego trip and these people should be shot burned and killed and other cool you know adjectives and verbs and adverbs and I don't want to get into math so alright let's get started I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into this picture by pressing control plus and then Let's take a look at what we have here. Here is our image. Here is our layers. At the very top in our layers panel, we have the pepper. At the next step, we have the potatoes, parsley, steak, and then a plate. If you look over here in our image, we have the same exact things. We have the pepper on top, the potatoes next. Below that is the parsley, and then below that's the steak, and then below that's the plate. If we were to move, say, the potatoes above the pepper, 
then the potatoes no longer have pepper on them because they are above the pepper. If we were to now take the steak and move that on top of the potatoes, you will see in our image that it is also on top of our potatoes. So that is one of the biggest things you need to learn to become a professional of Paint Shop, Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever you're using. Another thing I want to mention real fast is the fact that this tutorial is covering everything. Whatever paint kit we decide to go with, whatever plane we decide to paint, it does not matter. It is going to cover every step for any paint out there, whether you use FS9, FSX, it's all going to be covered. Uh, the steps are the same. There's only a few little differences and we will go over those in time, when the time comes. All right, one thing I do want to cover, I want, well, first of all, I want you to go ahead and play around with this, you know, um, use it for why I created it, you know, play around with it, um, confuse yourself. Let's say, for instance, I want to erase the potatoes. So I'm going to press E on the keyboard for my eraser tool. And then with my mouse, I'm going to start to erase the potatoes and nothing's happening. Well, nothing's happening because this is the other thing you really have to learn and that's because the parsley is selected over here if you see that it's highlighted in blue it's selected so the only thing I'm going to be able to erase would be the parsley to erase the potatoes I would have to have the potatoes selected I have a lock right now because I have the transparency locked so I'm going to unlock that right here and now I'll be able to erase the potatoes so yum 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 I'm eating them all up. Yeah, now if I can just find a midget with some gin, I'll be in business. So now let's say for instance I have the steak selected. I'm going to press V for the movement tool and I want to go move the parsley. Same thing. It doesn't matter if I'm touching the steak or not. It's the fact that that layer is selected. No matter where the steak is, I'm moving it because I have that layer selected. Okay? So that pretty much explains everything you ever needed to know about anything accept everything. So what we want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to open up an actual paint kit so I can show you the difference which isn't much with the exception of uh, a couple more layers. There's, I don't know, one, two, three, four, uh, I don't know what's metric for a shitload. There's a lot of layers so don't let it overwhelm you. The biggest thing you want to do on a paint kit is I want you to get accustomed to each and every layer. Some layers aren't going to be named. You're going to want to find out what they are and name them. Name them for yourself. Name them for something that you're going to do because it's not going to be wasted. It's not going to be wasted effort because you're going to be using the same paint kit over and over again. Maybe not this particular paint kit. What I do is when I first have a paint kit for the first time, like I don't even own the NGX yet, which by the way will not be a paint that we do since I don't own it but what I do have is I have every other plane that exists by anybody so leave me your opinion of what you want to do and we'll uh, cover that so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and create a layer I'm gonna fill that with white for now and if you notice my new layer is underneath one other layer the AOA indicator and if we look over here we can see that particular layer. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to hold down my keyboard or my spacebar and I'm going to pan over to it. And there's the AOA indicator. Now if I move my white layer below that and turn that layer's visibility on, I get a little ring around it. And that's what I mean by exploring the paint kit. You're going to keep doing that and by the time you're done, you know, I'm going underneath a mask now, some dirt. I'm going to zoom back out with control minus and you're gonna just keep doing things like that and then if it's not labeled label it um, if you don't understand the name name it something that you're gonna understand and then save that paint kit and then every time you do another paint go ahead and duplicate that particular paint kit that you made don't keep downloading a new paint kit and having to go through all this stuff all over again you know you need to tailor it to yourself and that's pretty much that Actually, I have a better idea. Let's go ahead and go ahead and create a new document. Let's go ahead and press Control N on the keyboard, and 
let's see, I have 1,000 by 1,000, that's fine. I'm going to, oh, okay, no big deal. This is uh, going to be a simple thing anyway. I just wanted to have it fill in with a color. Our colors are white and white. Um, the the background one is actually the foreground color, and the forward one is actually the background color. So don't ask me. Hell, we drive, you know, <laughs> on a parkway, and we park in a driveway. So the world is just an imperfect place. So keyboard shortcut in it. Go ahead and press the letter D on your keyboard. D as in Dan, which is the beginning of danger, by the way. Uh, press D and Alt Backspace and that will fill in with your foreground color. If we wanted to fill in with our background color we'd press Control Backspace. Go ahead and I'm going to select the text tool by pressing T. Go figure. And if you look up here at the top, we haven't covered this yet, every tool you select, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'm going to, I can't do it, I'm going to press V. I, I'm not going to click on that thing. Um, V for the movement tool, movement. It's the letter I, I normally say in my speech and leave it silent. And you're going to see a different, a bunch of different tools up here. And these tools are for that particular tool, or these settings. I'm sorry, are for that tool. This toolbar is for that tool. Marquee tool, um, M, same thing. Eraser tool, uh, the paintbrush tool, the burn tool. Everything you select is going to have its own settings up here, and those can be played with. And as we do the paint and everything else, I'm going to explain all those, so don't worry about that. So again, pressing the text tool, or T for the text tool, I'm going to change the text color right here to white. So we'll choose that and hit OK. Font 120, and da, da, da. well, let's see what we got here. Let's just type in some random word here. And Let's get out of that by hitting enter and you can see that doesn't get us out of here because we're in a text field so we need to get out of it. It's hard to remember for some people that do tutorials the steps, the little things that annoyed you when you first started with programs or that you just took for granted or just didn't really understand. And this was one of them for me and you know getting out of the text. So I, I wanted to bring this up real quick just to show you. Um, one thing you, you just you know, automatically might think of once you learn keyboard shortcuts is I'll press the letter V for the movement tool. Well, no, because that adds the letter V. Alright, so go ahead and just click on the movement tool though. And there we go. We got out of it. And if you notice over here in our layers panel, it has named it whatever this was. If we, let's press T again for the text tool. If we press it, if we type in something else now, and we get out of it and this time we're going to get out of it by clicking on the text tool or the text layer it's going to name it that so there you go we have two different layers now so I'm going to show you another thing if we have press T for the text tool again if I go back in here and I hit escape to get out of it well that doesn't work that totally killed our layer we never we don't have a layer there anymore rather so Again, I'm just going to go in and press that, and I'll click it again to get out of it. Something about this message is like subliminal, subliminal, subliminal. Bl 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 hmm. Well, anyway, on that note, I'm going to go. I have to go anyway because, like, my cat is um really hungry. She's kind of been head button my leg my ankle since I started I know I know getting off the computer now you little douchebag oh god I should have got a bird or a turtle alright gentlemen lady ladies people peoples people peebanises um peebets and all you people out there um I will see you next tutorial and get a custom with that paint kit, and I will talk to you later. Bye.